Okay, the next step of the operation is the tubes. Now one thing I wasn't able to do because of time frame constituents is um, reading the holes and video it for you. What we've done basically, we put it up in a, in a typical drill press and this is a half inch high speed reamer, high speed steel. Notice the flutes are straight, there's no curvature in it all the way to the top. And this is .499 or one thousandths under a half inch. After it's core drilled, which the hole is 7 sixteenths, the reamer simply goes in, rims a hole, and you do it quick. You don't let it spend a lot of time drilling, just a quick down and out in there. Then the tube at that time still will not fit in. It'll start to go in, but that's it. And the reason is, I purposely, because this tube diameter is a half inch to 501, I purposely made it a bit tight because I want not a press fit, but a close to a press fit. So I take a sand roll, the diameter of the hole, put it in. Put it in the hole and hone it back and forth, back and forth a few times. And then take the tube until I get a fit that I like. Now you want it to go in, but you don't want it to drop straight through. You want a little bit of resistance, which will take honing it, back and forth, doing it. And then all of a sudden what will happen is she'll start to go in and there's going to be just a little bit of resistance, not a lot. But a little, and the reason why is you're going to have epoxy. I use JB Weld High Strength. Coat the tube and then coat the hole. And then you're going to have to smack her in because that epoxy is going to take it apart and make it harder to shove in. So that's going to give it some resistance. And then your tube. You have to do this first, once again before you ever start porting in it because if you don't, if you port it and then do it, when you're drilling it, it'll off drill a hole and you got yourself a damn mess and you can practically ruin a head that way. So always remember, ream, make sure you got your tube size, it won't fit, then you sand roll it like you're honing it to get a little bit of a fit, it shouldn't drop in, it should have some resistance, but it shouldn't be a fit where you have to beat it with a hammer. And then, man, you're good to go. All right, I just wanted to show you the tubing process on the head. Before we went on, now I'm ready to go in there and start grinding on the inside of the ports until the point where it goes. Because like I said, this head has a real bad problem with the straight wall side. It's a wet flow hindrance. More on that later. Okay. All for now.